Welcome back to Pokemon X. Last time, we traversed down Route 18 and battled a really difficult trainer who was difficult for no apparent reason. It was a re it was a reversal battle trainer, and we got saved because Haley managed to be able to freeze the last Pokemon. I have so much more respect for Vanillux now. Anyway, if we recall, it was it was requested of us by Professor Sycamore that we find and speak to him in It was requested of Professor Sycamore that we find and speak to him. Rare candy. That could potentially be useful. I have two of the TM for U-Turn. Here, I'll share one with you. Oh, yeah, U-Turn. That guy is always changing his mind. Well, one U-Turn. Just another ether. Anyway, I believe it's after here where we run into Professor Sycamore. Curryway Town, a town connecting differences. Powerful moves have fewer PP, which is short for power points. Accomplished trainers use PP up on such moves. That's correct. I'm gonna be loved. Do you have a Pokemon that uses Nuzzle? Unfortunately, I don't. I wish that I were a Pokemon. Then I could live every day with them. I love the Ability Warrior on TV. I wish I had a Pokemon's ability. Whoa, Protean. Yeah, Protean is was originally Kecleon's signature hidden ability, but was given to Greninja in this generation as its hidden ability. The way Protean works is it changes the user's entire typing to the type of the move it uses, so it gets stab on it and everything, and it gets the actual typing. Are you familiar with the abilities that keep Pokémon from fleeing battle? Gee, <laughs> those abilities don't work on ghost-type Pokémon. Burn heal. I really like the story of the Magikarp climbing the waterfall. This is actually in reference to what Magikarp's evolution is based on. Magikarp evolving into Gyarados is based on a Japanese legend where a carp jumping over where a carp jump managing to jump over a waterfall is able to transform into this blue serpentine dragon. Hello. Here he is. I have to apologize to you about Lysander. I'm very sorry for the trouble he caused. And I'd also like to thank you. I'm sincerely grateful for what you did for all the Pokémon and people of this world. And by stopping Team Flare, you also saved Lysander. I, knew his, I always knew that he desired a beautiful world. And maybe someday the population of people and Pokémon will actually increase to where resources become very scarce. If someone acts out of greed in such a world, surely some will go without if all living things keep acting that way, there will be nothing left at all in the end. Why, there won't be an, even be anything left to steal, will there? But what I really wanted was for him to put his ego aside and lead everything to greater heights. I never had this discussion with him, though, so I'm partially responsible for this. Well, enough of that. Matthew, I want you and your Pokémon to take everything you learned from your journey and hit me with your very best shot. Alright then, I guess we're battling Professor Sycamore again. He has three Pokemon. Starting with... Venusaur. 
We're battling him again, except this time he uses all of the fully evolved Kanto starters instead of just the first forms. Such is the reason I went and led with Haley. I'm gonna start by setting up Hale. And it is going to go for Petal Dance. That did a lot of damage. I'm gonna go ahead and protect in order to get more ice body healing and also to stall out Petal Dance. I could try and go for a double protect, but I feel like that's kind of gutsy. So I'm gonna go Ice Beam even if it won't kill. Leaves it very low, and unfortunately, I am gonna go down to this pedal dance here. Alright. I think next up, I'm going to go into Smasher. And I'm gonna go for a crunch to finish this thing off. Venusaur goes down. Blastoise comes out next. Um, why do I feel like this thing is gonna have, like, Ice Beam or something? I better fly up. Water Pulse. Well, at least you tried. And now it's going for Aqua Tail. Oh, and it's, and it's gonna die from hail. <clears throat> Anti Bowser grew to level 60 and wants to learn Hydro Pump. I'm sorry, I don't have the room for Hydro Pump, unfortunately, so I'm not gonna be able to teach him Hydro Pump. Charizard is his final Pokemon. I'm gonna fly up into the sky. He's gonna go for Flame Burst. And it just barely leaves him alive. But it's cause of the... It's cause of the... Hey, uh, oh, darn it. Why did it have to stop right at the end? There we go. Alright. Prickles grew to level 60. He wants to learn Hammer Arm. Sure, I'll learn Hammer Arm. We defeated Pokemon Professor Sycamore. You are really something. You and your Pokemon have developed strong bonds by spending time together and caring about one another. That's why you and your Pokemon are so strong. Alright. The strength you've found is simply marvelous, and you truly love and trust your Pokemon. Matthew, a treasure of mine is hidden in this town if you'd like to try to find it. Well, I'll be off then. I have many preparations I must attend to. I have a little surprise planned for all of you to thank you for fighting in Team Freer and saving Kalos. Alright then. Well, hidden treasure, huh? It's a message written in neatly carved letters. To the person reading this. What are you like now? Did you become who you wanted to be? For starters, what was the person you wanted to become even like? I don't know, but it would be wonderful if you can boast that you're living each day to its fullest. To future Sycamore, from the Sycamore dreaming of the future. 
For a treasure, that's honestly kind of underwhelming, but a lot of people actually never knew this, must have never knew this actually existed, since while Professor Sycamore does mention of a treasure, you actually can't find it with the dowsing machine. It's just a message on a bench that's just completely hidden. Change your hairstyles and forms change. Oh, wait, I think I already... Yeah, I think I already talked to you about that. Alright, now... Wait, did I already talk... Oh, yeah, I talked to you. I knew I talked to you. Pokemon lured to you by the item Honey or the move Sweet Scent will appear in Hordes. That is, if Hordes can appear on the route. Otherwise, it'll just be a... Otherwise, it'll just be a singular Pokemon. Have you visited the art museum? Visited the art museum in Lumio City? Which Pokemon did you pick as your first partner? Oh, really? It was Chespin. Well, then I guess you get the Chespin quiz. True or false? Is Chespin's height one foot eight? Ah, darn. No. Yes, correct. Is Chespin's weight? Seems a bit too heavy. Miracle Seed. Looking at the Pokedex is great fun. Sometimes Pokemon turn out to be bigger or smaller than you'd expect. Mimic, huh? They'll let you use the last move an opponent used during battle. Because what Mimics do, like to do, is learn by copying other people, right? I guess that is true. There's a photo spot. I don't really know what the what this photo spot is, but this is a pretty interesting area with a bunch of waterfalls and such. I don't know what this is. Prism scale that can be used on Feebas to trade it to evolve it into Milotic. Only thing is, you actually can't get Feebas anywhere in this game. How about Cory Bay Town's famous freshwater? It's three hundred Poké dollars a bottle. Sure. Fresh water, fresh water. Here's something extra. Take it now, don't be shy. Please stop by again tomorrow. You have a Pokedex here. Scrap disguise itself as to find fortune. Kelp, probably. Kind of odd that they'd quiz you on that, considering Skrelp is a Pokemon Y exclusive Pokemon. Does this mean they quiz you on Clauncher in Y? If we get quizzed on Skrelp in X, despite it being found in Y, and then and then her quizzing you on Clauncher in Y, despite it being found in X. Try asking your friends. Hmm. So this is the Kalos region, huh? Not bad. I'm prepared. Lay it on me, Mr. Bonding. Hey, hey, how's it going, friend? I'm Mr. Bonding, the expert on I already know what O powers are. Let's bond. Stealth power level one. Stealth power decreases the chance of encountering wild Pokemon. You can use old powers from the PSS, and the more you use them, the higher they level up. So use them as often as possible. Well then, I do believe I shall take my leave right about now. Hope to see you around. I really hope that... that this final town here is the last time we have to run into Mr. Bonding, because he is a scary dude. Anyway, um, let's go ahead and sort out these TMs. Hmm. None of my Pokemon can learn U-Turn, unfortunately. It's a shame, U-Turn's actually quite a good move. I thought my dearest Furfru lead the way on our walk. We came all the way from Kumarine City to here. My feet are killing me. People who pass through this gate. I love to imagine what kinds of trainers they are. Hmm. Interesting. 
Route 19, Grande Valet Way, and there's something over there. Wonder what it is. Better get my dowsing machine out. It's Swampy Waters. Sligu, this is the evolved form of Gumi. If you didn't bother catching Gumi and if you never bothered catching Gumi in in I believe Route 14, if you if you never bothered catching Gumi, then you can catch it as a Sligu now if you really want to use Gudra on your team. Which Gudra is the evolved form of Sligu, which you get by leveling up leveling it up to level 50 in the rain. There's a set of rangers there. Wait, you can get Haunter here? That's a really weird way to get Haunter. I never knew it could appear here, let alone in broad daylight. Alright. And yes, you can also encounter Shelmet and Carablast here at much higher levels. <clears throat> oh yes, and this is something I never I neglected I just neglected to mention about surfing. If you were to get a if you were to take the Lapras with you from Oh, I need to learn strength. All right. Which Pokémon is going to be my strength mule this time? Probably Anti-Bowser. I don't really find myself using Power Up Punch that much, despite my physical attack being higher in my current state. So I'm just gonna go ahead and replace it with Strength. Alright, let's do this. Push the rock down. Push the rock here. Push it up twice. And then push it right twice in order to get past here and find a toxic plate. There's nothing beyond here. Which is kind of interesting since Pokemon likes to do stuff like that where they put stuff beyond areas you can't see. Sligo. I'm not battling any wild Pokemon until we get through a rather important event on this route. Yachi Berry. These can be held by a Pokemon to decrease the damage taken from a super effective ice move. Such so is the reason I went and used it on... such is the reason I would probably go ahead and use it on Smasher. TM36 Sludge Bomb. This is going to be really good to teach Tukana. Oh yeah, and Prickles can learn Sludge Bomb, apparently. I don't know how, but... I'm going to teach it to Kana and not... and not really to Prickles, because Prickles ain't going to get much use out of it. Yeah, and Kana's... and... And for the most part... Time for a Pokemon battle is what me from Tekken Sen seconds ago said. Hmm. Pumpkaboo, you never bothered to evolve your... You never bothered to do a trade to evolve your Pumpkaboo. I mean, I don't blame you. It is kind of hard to get another 3DS in order to trade with. Especially if you don't have a friend who plays Pokemon. 
But even then, you could probably just... You could probably just put a Pumpkaboo on the GTS and then ask for another... And then just ask for another Pumpkaboo in return. Oh yeah, this is a mechanic with Pumpkaboo and its evolution, Gorgeist. They have unique sizes you can find them in. Whether it be small, average, large, or super size. Super size has more bulk, whereas the small size is more speedy. <clears throat> I could see myself being defeated by you. Hmm. Right then, let's... Go ahead and get this netball. And there appears to be some hopping we can do. In which case, we're gonna go ahead and hoppity hop 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 along these rocks. Oh, there's something here. Let's see. Alright. Is there anything over here? It leads us over here. Alright. Anyway. Antidote. Not, but I mean, I don't know why you can find those so late in the game, but I mean, sure, it works. And yeah, Haunter can even be found in normal patches of grass. Um, though I do believe this route is home to one new Pokemon. That being, that being Drapion. Wait, why can't I challenge? Okay, there you go. Care for a sky battle with the sky trainer? Alright. It's time to battle a sky trainer. Sky trainer, Sarah. Noctowl. You can't be serious if you're using a Noctowl. And oh my goodness, what is up with the camera? Um. Whoa, that's, that's a really weird perspective change. It's going for reflect. I'm gonna go for dragon breath now. No oh, darn it, it hit hypnosis. Alright, well now I just gotta hope that Smasher wakes up. Reflect is gone. And Smasher wakes up. Nice. Alright. Aerodactyl's next. I'm gonna go for Dragon Breath. Ice Thing! Uh-oh. 30 HP. Yo, I got the Paralysis! I'm actually gonna win this because I got the Lucky Paralysis. Wow. Yet again, instances of me getting lucky where I really shouldn't be getting lucky, but I still get lucky anyway. Wow. Well then, I guess that's it for now. Um, I'm gonna cut the episode here. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!